Yo, 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 it's your boy, Big Mike Raider. And we got another special one for you. We're at day 10 of the 30 days, 30 prospects, where today we're covering Tavondre Sweat out of University of Texas, the 2023 Outland Trophy winner. Guys, we'll jump into it. But have they ever seen another like me living giant type step in your house above my head on when you sit and climbed out of the bottomless pit to let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine dive off my lip no longer hold no I'm tired of applying the grip forget the fancy shiny rappers I'm supplying the gifts I feel it's only right to tell you that I'm going in hey what's going on it's your boy Big Mike Raider writer and contributor for Planet Raiders and I got a special one for you today we're talking about Tavondre Sweat out of the University of Texas. Like I mentioned before, he's the 2023 Outland Trophy winner that goes to the best interior offensive slash defensive line lineman in the country. He won that award with the University of Texas in his fifth year as a senior. Guys, in his 2023 season, 25 tackles, 25 stops, 23 quarterback hurries, and two sacks. This guy is 6'4". 366 pounds who can move to the one technique can move to the three technique can line up head up on a guard a tackle even a center this guy can play everywhere on the on the field surprisingly even at 366 pounds right now when he gets to the nfl he might be limited to that one technique um he's gonna probably have to slim down just a little bit uh, we'll talk about his strengths and weaknesses a little bit, but um, that's one of the weaknesses that we will talk about. But we'll get into the strengths and weaknesses. We will talk about Devondre Sweat's uh, PFF. We want to hear what PFF has to say about him. Uh, we'll go over his pros and cons, and we'll go over draft positioning for Devondre Sweat. And what does that mean for the Raiders at number 44 overall? Do you stand pat at 44? Do you move back in order to grab – to Vondre Sweat uh, later on in a second. We'll go over that, guys. And then, of course, you already know, film breakdown. I kind of lied to you guys from yesterday. I said I'll give the film breakdown sort of a break. But like I told you guys yesterday, this seems to be a trenches type of draft forecasted for the Raiders. Um, all the guys that are really sticking out to me this year, maybe I'm a little bit biased, have been on the D-line, O-line um, so far. Uh, I know in the later rounds, I'm looking at corners. I'm looking at running backs. But as of right now, the guys in the first two rounds it is, is O-line, D-line, quarterback type of deal. Maybe a corner in there like if we get a Quinion Mitchell, like we've already mentioned at number 13 overall. Um, that's who I'm looking at. So, guys, let's get the show started. Pros and cons, right? This guy has a motor when he's on the, on the field, when he is 100% at 100% battery, right? This guy at 366 pounds has an explosive first step, an explosive uh, punch right away. One-on-one, uh, -on -one, it looks ridiculous when he goes one-on-one. -on -one. Every time he's he's being covered, it's definitely a double team. And when it's one-on-one, -on -one, he's absolutely winning that. Um, that's one of his strengths, that he's always winning one-on-ones. Uh, he can split the double team. Uh, he has a motor. Uh, and he's a run stopper. He can even get after the pass if he needs to, right? That's one of the things that we're looking at with him. Uh, football IQ is 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 up there. He he knows the game. He knows you know where the ball is going uh, and and knows what to look for. Reads his keys very well. Uh, this is a guy that um, when he gets on the when he gets on the field, he's a he's a natural leader. He's the cornerstone of that Texas defense uh, from 2023. Like I said, he won the outland trophy given to the the best o-line d lineman in the country uh that says a lot there's considering that this is the best um one of the best uh o-line slash d line uh classes uh to date the fact that tavondre sweat sticks out above the rest as that outland trophy winner says volumes about what he brings to the table so that's him in a nutshell uh, as far as strengths go some of his weaknesses guys I'm going to be honest with you. He's 366 pounds. You want to see him down to about 335. Um, he gets tired really quickly. It shows on film when he does get tired. Uh, he, like, hops up out of his uh, stance when he does when he's playing fatigue. 
Um, he loses that motor that you all, that you love and know from later on in games, and he plays in limited snaps. He plays at about like 60, 65% of the snaps each game. Um, so, of course, you want him to, you know, slim down just a little bit and, and keep that athleticism. I mean, for somebody at 366 pounds and ran a 5-2-7 in the 40, that's impressive. But you would like to think that, you know, shedding about 25 to 30 pounds would really – make him a formidable force uh, if he does that. And, you know, good NFL conditioning, training camp and things like that, working with a good strength and conditionings coach can really get the job done for him. I think that'll be really good. Um, and I think because of the rest of that stuff, um, you know, hand placement and pad level and things like that, I think because of, you know, the motor, the you know, when he gets tired, him kind of getting fatigued pretty quickly, a lot of the, the technique that you're looking for and that he's shown earlier on kind of disappears just a little bit. Uh, but, guys, what do you think about Devondre Sweat, pros and cons? Um, I think this is a guy that uh, can get it together as far as conditioning goes. And, I mean, it's not like this guy is completely out of shape. It's just at 366 pounds, you want to see him in a league that is ever so changing into a passing league. You want to see him to be available at all plays possible. And, what better to do is just to slim up just a little bit and, and, and be on the field a lot more and, and bring in that motor that we, we all know and love, right? So let me know what you guys think about it. Um, now let's talk about draft positioning. Okay, so um, I've seen it. Um, I've seen him range from NFL.com has him in the, early, in the late first round coming out. I think that he'll still be around in the second round, but it varies. There's a lot of variance of where he's uh, looking at as far as draft placement goes. Shout out to NFLDraftBuzz.com. Um, you know, great, great source for uh, getting uh, good information on these um, on these prospects. Uh, good uh, 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 draft simulator. It's 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 a good it's a good website if you guys want to check it out. So NFLDraftBuzz.com. They got a they got a chart. You guys seen this chart? I've I've, I've put it on on different episodes, but the, the chart ranges, right? NFL.com has uh, Tavondre Sweat at number 27. Um, when you look at the chart, the median, the middle of that chart, right? You got ESPN has them at 42 overall. <clears throat> the Athletic has them at 47 overall. Uh, Draft Buzz has them at 48. Um, MDDB has them at 49. DraftNet also at 49. Fox has them at 55. And then things kind of drop off from there. So, uh, and and that's what we're talking about. And I think it's attributing to his, um, his his, uh, not necessarily one dimensionality, but more of um, being that guy that's kind of pigeonholed when you when you are limited in snaps and and you can't be counted on for an entire game. Um, you, you your stock kind of drops in some people's eyes, right? PFF has him at seventy four, so that's somewhat in the third round. Um, CBS has him at 76, and uh, the Pro Football Network has him at 97. Um, that's in the later third round. So, guys, uh, he's looking at maybe a second or a third round pick. I would like for the Raiders to really um, keep their eye out on what's going on, how these teams see uh, him on their draft board, and and really, you know, you know, uh, keep knocking on doors and making sure that this guy is 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 not, you know coming up first on somebody's draft board and uh, make the move accordingly, right? That's that's kind of what we're looking for. And if the Raiders do pick him up at number 44, this will be a great addition to, like we already talked about before, a formidable defensive line, um, add a little bit of youth to it, uh, can be that heir apparent to John Jenkins, who is pretty much around the same build, the same size, um, and brings similar uh, – similar attributes to the game so can be that that heir apparent to john jenkins who was 35 years old and and kind of teach him the tricks of the trade teach him how to be a professional teach him how to be that 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 big um dominating force in the one and possibly three technique um so that's what i'm looking for if tavondre sweat does get picked up um at number 44 overall let me know what you think let me hear what you think about Devondre Sweat possibly getting picked in the second round at number 44. I want to hear about what you guys think about that one. Guys, 
I want to also talk about what PFF has to say about Devondre Sweat. Um, and then we'll get into his PFF grades and 2023 comparables. Uh, so we're going to get an, an analysis. You already know what we do. Pros and cons from Devondre Sweat. Sheer size makes him a tough assignment. We already talked about it. It's 366 pounds, 6'4". This dude's a mountain of a man, right? Pass rush moves and counters were much improved from 2022 to 2023. You see him make that big jump uh, from being a pretty decent three technique to being the Outland Trophy winner. Big jump, right? Uh, really light on his feet for a player pushing 360 pounds plus. Uh, dancing bear. He's one of those dancing bears. Light on his feet. Quick uh, um, laterally. He's This guy is, is, is a force on that front line. Leg drive was powerful in 2023. Held up against double teams in 2023. So holds holds up against double teams and one-on-ones. I already told you guys, this guy, one-on-one dudes don't stand a chance against him one-on-one. So those are his pros from PFF. Uh, a couple of cons, they don't have many. Uh, pops up high out of his stance naturally, right? Uh, so he his pad level, we're talking about pad level here. So um, he's going to have to work on that. Conditioning will be naturally tough, so uh, he's got he's got to get in with the strength and conditioning coach, tighten up the diet, getting down to about thirty pounds lighter where he is. I think he'll be in a sweet spot right there, and and, and not lose that power and 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 uh, durability and and uh, athleticism. He won't lose any of that. Just dropping thirty pounds, getting down to about three thirty five. He could do damage still at the one technique and the three technique and possibly put a lot more speed to his game as well. So that's what we're looking at, pros and cons of Tavondre Sweat in review. Sweat has the size that you can't teach. At his best, he's an impact, versatile interior defensive player, but weight and conditioning will determine how often that can be in the NFL. And you guys already saw, I already told you what PFF thinks about him. He's a third-round grade, um, according to PFF. So – um, they, they're really concerned about his, his 366 pound build. So what do you guys think about that? Does that concern you? 366 pounds, his conditioning. I want to hear what you guys think about it. Let me know in the comments out in the chat, man. I want to hear what you guys have to say about that one, guys, but let's get to the stats right here. We're going to go over his last three years. Um, overall great. In 2021, 71.8 overall PFF grade in 12 games played, 315 defensive snaps, pretty much a 50-50 split between run defensive snaps and pass rush snaps. He had one sack, two hurries, and three batted balls. So excellent numbers right there in uh in semi-limited play. Didn't play full the, that full time as you see in the next two years, right? Excellent. You can see, you know, the potential. Right there, you can see it. In 2022, 79.5 overall PFF grade. So you see an improvement right there. 13 games, 464 defensive snaps, 276 pass rush snaps, 188 rush defense snaps, four hits, no sacks, 18 hurries. So he was getting after the guy a lot. They're getting rid of the ball. They want nothing to deal with. They didn't want to deal with him. And five batted balls. So this guy can gets gets there, but when he can't get there on time. He's putting his hands up and disrupting the play and ending the play right there. Excellent, excellent, excellent year from Tavondre Sweat. And in his 2023 Outland Trophy winner year, 91.7 overall grade. Excellent, almost off the charts right there. 14 games played, 503 defensive snaps. So his snaps seem to be going up a little bit higher as the years progress. Um, uh, so maybe conditioning isn't an issue. Um, we don't know what his uh, during the season his weight is. It could be around 340, which would be pretty good. Ideally, I do want to see him at 335, but uh, we'll see. We'll see. But in 503 defensive snaps, 309 pass rush snaps, 193 rush defensive snaps. He had two sacks, three hits, 26 quarterback hurries, and six batted balls. He was absolutely a force the best defensive player possibly in the country uh, at the University of Texas. 2023 comparables, pass rush grade 85.3, run defense grade 92, amongst the best in the nation, 
True pass set, rush grade, 88.6, another elite number. His pass rush win rate, elite as well, 15.3%. Guys, that's impressive. Run stop rate also up amongst the elite in the country uh, uh, with 300-plus snaps at 12.8%. This guy has been a force in his last three years um, against Washington. Uh, so you want to look at what he does against elite competition. Um uh, 69 overall PFF grade, decent enough, right? Um, if you're looking at formidable opponents, uh, Oklahoma, he had a 77.3 PFF grade against elite offenses like Kansas, who, if you guys haven't watched Kansas University, they had a pretty elite offense against them. He had an 87.7 PFF grade. Baylor University, 82.7 PFF grade. Against Rice, week one, 93.9 PFF grade. His first game was his best one as far as that grade goes. Kansas State, uh, 87 uh, PFF grade. Iowa State, 88.9. So this dude produces uh, against big competition, um, and, he, and he completely dominates. That's how he earned the 2023 Allen Trophy um, um, award. So let me know what you guys think of everything that I just presented to you guys before we get into this uh, film breakdown. Uh, I'm going to try to not be as long winded, but I can't promise anything. You guys already know how that goes. So let me know what you guys think about the complete body of work from Tavondre Sweat before we get into this film breakdown. And hey, well, shoot, you know, without further ado, let's jump into it, man. I want to hear what you guys have to say uh, in the comments about Tavondre Sweat. Now, without further ado, here we go. Here we go. Let me see. Let me pop my face in there. There we go. So, guys, here we go. We're looking at. Big number 93. He's a dominant force. He is head up on the center right here. Center, front and center right there. Let's see what he does right here. And and, and let me just note that this guy, uh, a lot of this has been um, just him dominating a, a guy in front of him and, and, and just taking over a double team and making plays. So let's keep that in mind. And let's ride this one out right here, guys. Let's see. So there you go. He gets his hands on the guy first. And, and now you got the center in an old lay position. His body is moved forward. His head's down. Definitely not good right there. The guard tries to get a little bit of help. Uh, it looks like that they're trying to establish a combo block. But uh, to Vondre Sweat, his hands were too quick for that to happen. That center whiffs on a block. And now that guard is trying to reach as best he can. And uh, he seems to be in a bad position. So there you go right there. And there's nothing you can do about that. That running back gets tackled. Uh, right at the line of scrimmage. So excellent play from big number 93. So right here, we'll, we'll check this one out. Uh, we are looking at uh, Tavondre Sweat right here, number 93. Uh, you can't see his number, but he is on our right-hand side of the screen. He is in a three technique in that B gap, right in between the guard and tackle on our right-hand side. So here we go. Let this thing ride out. There you go. He wins the battle already right there. With that, with that, uh, with that tackle, tackle doesn't make a good angle, and he's basically standing right up. Uh, this seems to be good pad level. He's the lowest man in this situation, and lowest man always wins. So, um, there's no way for this guy to recover in this situation. You'll see exactly what I'm talking about. Boom, wraps up the guy and uh, stifles him for a good TFL. Excellent play from Big 93 to Vondre Sweat. Now, let's check out the next one, guys. Let's see. All right, so this is versus Kansas State. We're winding just a little bit. All right, so now we got Devondre Sweat. He is head up on number 54 on that guard. Um, nice wide stance. I really like I, I like his stance. It's, it's a really good stance. Uh, it's almost like sumo type of uh, stance. It allows him to stay low and, and keep that good leverage. Um, and, you know, that's just my little side note. But uh, – He's looking at number 54 pulling to the left. It looks like they're going to do some counter action. The guard is going to pull to the left. Let's check it out, guys. Let's check it out. So a pull. That center tries to block down on him, and he completely just goes around him with some good footwork, good nimble feet from a 366-pound monster right there. And there you go. And he's there to wrap up and make the tackle right there for a minimal gain. Excellent play right there. So here we go. We're going to see this one right here. I'm going to rewind this just a little bit so I can get a better uh, 
look at who. Okay, so now we got this versus Kansas State again. He is now head up on the center, number 55. Let's see how he handles this one right here. Goal line situation. Let's check it out. Okay, so now that center blocks down, so you now have the guard on a number 54. It looks like he has good position on him, but let's let this thing continue to ride out. What an effort right there. He He's on the other side, but he sheds the block across the is across the, the 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 center's body and stays in the mix and ends up making a play in traffic. Uh, excellent play from uh, Tavondre Sweat, and that's exactly what you're going to get from one-on-one -on -one situations. He's going to win most of the time. Uh, Two-on-one -on -one situations, double team, he holds his own. But if it's a one-on-one -on -one deal, uh, it's almost unfair, right? Um, he he held his ground and and stayed uh, and, and and pretty much plugged the gap for that running back to not not be able to find anywhere to go no daylight for him so that's what you're getting from Tavondre sweat you're getting a a space eater a gap filler um particularly in the a gap and the b gap um in the nfl if he can be both that's excellent too he'll bring more value to the table if he can get to that if he can be that b gap type of guy that three technique uh, as well as uh, a, a one technique that people are expecting him to be already. So excellent play from Tavondre Sweat. Okay, so now he's head up on the guard in this situation on number 54. Um, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Nice little swipe, little swim move. Uh, got number 54, <laughs> kind of turned. That's 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 excellent. That's, that's, that's a good feat of strength right there. For you to, you know, nice little side swipe. And really get the the guard's body turning off of a simple like swipe of the hand. That that's that's impressive to me. Let's see how he finishes this play right here. Oh, oh my God! Had fifty five on skates. He had him on skates, guys. He, he pushed him back. He was roll bouncing behind the line of scrimmage, number fifty five, and then he gets by him and almost makes the play right here. Let's see. Oh, just missed the tackle right there. So. Uh, great play by number 93, nonetheless. Uh, Should have finished it, man, but there you go. So as you see right here, he's uh, – let me rewind it just a little bit. I had this play started just a little bit too early. All right, so now we're looking at right here. So he was head uh, head up on the uh, on the guard right here on the left-hand side. He's end up going to – he's going to end up meeting with that center right here. So let's check it out. Meets up with the center, but gives him the Olay swim move action. And now that running back is getting crushed by the entire building right there, man. Great swim move. Just absolutely made 55 look ridiculous right there with the Olay action. Great swim move. Good quick hands from number 93 to Vondre Sweat. Really abusing number 55 on that one. And that running back. Oh man, rest in peace to the running back, man. He he's looking straight down at the belly of the beast right there. So there you go. And he makes the tackle right there. Excellent play from number 93. So let's check out this another this next one right here. Uh from what it looks like, Devondre Sweat is going to be in the A gap this time. He's the A gap guy um, on the right hand side. Uh, one technique in between that center and guard, guys. Let's see how he fares out with this one. So, guys, before I get it started, he's already played in the three technique. He's played head up on a guard. He's played head up on a center. He's played in the one. So this guy has been moving around. We haven't seen him in the five. I don't think he's going to be that guy that's going to be in the five. But I think he dominates that entire interior O-line, moving from head up on either guard or center and, or in the A or B gap. Man. So um, that's that's what you're getting from him. But let, let's see this one ride out right here. Okay, takes on the double team. Now let's see what he does with this double team. So it looks like they're trying to establish a uh, combo block. Uh, that guard, that, that center, I'm sorry, is going to uh, block down um, and probably leave it into the guard's hands. And while the center moves up to the second level. And it looks like he has a pretty good lane right there. But let's see how the big number 93 overcomes this one, guys. This is, that's a pretty big lane right there. It doesn't look good. But let's, let's continue. Let's see what happens. And, and that running back should have hit that gap right up the middle, man. You guys saw it. Instead, he ran right into 93. And 93, what, what uh, way to kind of stay with it 
way to split that double team and, and not lose any ground, stayed his stayed his gap responsibility and, and uh didn't didn't lose any ground on that one. So I, I definitely commend him for that one. Uh but that running back made a terrible play right there, what it looks like, because he had a lane uh the, the, the size of uh Austin, Texas, uh right at the beginning of that play. I don't know why he ran to the to the left right there, ran right into big Tavondre sweat, but nonetheless. Excellent play from number 93. Um, so once again, we're looking at um, uh, Tavondre Sweat in the uh, – he's in the A-gap as well once again. Uh, let, let's see this play out right here. Got a motion right here in that A-gap on the right-hand side. There you go. Okay, so that was the same play, guys. So bear with me. I think I copied that same play twice. So there you go. Here's this one. He's head up on a guard. And look at this. This is uh, not really the full play right here. I just want to show you how he completely abuses this guard right here. You look at it right at number 93. He's head up on the guard on the left-hand side. Uh, not on the far left-hand side, but he's going against that right guard on the left side of the screen, left of the center from our perspective. So let's, let's take a look at it. Oh, gives him a nasty, you know, shocking shot to the chest and then the beautiful swim move and now uh now it looks like the, that guard is doing the t-ball action he's down on one knee looks like he's getting ready to propose he's in a three-point stance almost it looks like it just completely abuses that 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 guard excellent right there that that is we, we got to run that again guys we got to run that again so let's 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 see right here let's see what he does right here guys Contact and boom, swim. And that dude, all he can do is just sit there and just watch. Excellent from number 93. So here we are. We're looking at the left side of the screen where he's playing uh, kind of that inside shade of that guard. You could say two eye. You could say that one technique, uh, number 54 and number 70. He's in between there playing the A gap. Um, let's see how, how this rides out. There you go. No chance. One-on-one, -on -one, I told you guys, one-on-one -on -one is where he thrives. Nobody can, can deal with this dude in one-on-one -on -one situations. That's what you're getting with Devondre Sweat. He's going to win in one-on-one -on -one situations, point blank, period. So, And there you go, another one-on-one -on -one situation right here. This time he was head up on the center, and now he's going to get himself a TFL right there. There you go. Excellent play. And here we go. Scoring situation, scoring opportunity. For Tavondre Sweat, he is on the right-hand side of the screen in the B-gap in a three technique on the right-hand side of the screen. Let's check it out. Let's see him get some scoring in on the board, getting him a, a nice little safety to top it off right here. Let's see how he gets there. Let's see. All right. Just bull rush. Bull rush. You got a second guy on him. And they, they had no chance. No chance to, 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 to stifle him at all. He was just a force to be reckoned with and a force that just couldn't be stopped. And he makes the play in the end zone for a safety. Excellent play from Tavondre Sweat. So there you go. That's the film breakdown, guys. This is what you're getting from Tavondre Sweat. A motor win at 100%. Uh, a tenacious run defender. Defender, Pass rush is, is out of this world. He, he bats balls. Uh, he gets TFLs. Um, one thing that we already mentioned that is his possible his his conditioning might be a question, right? We saw the big range of where he could be drafted. Uh, PFF has him kind of in the third round. CBS has him around the third round, and Pro Football Network as well. Uh, and I think it's because they're concerned with that conditioning and being at 366 pounds and kind of looking like he's losing that that motor. In, in in situations uh when when it requires for him to be around in later in later parts of the game but nonetheless this guy packs a punch and, and can play the three technique can play the one can play head up on a guard can play head up on a center this guy does it all um what do you guys think about all that what do you guys think about the film breakdown man let me know what you guys think but guys that is day 10 of the 30 Days 30 Prospects, I am Big Mike Raider, writer and contributor for Planet Raiders. Go to planetraiders.com and read the full article of Devondre Sweat 
You can read it there. You can check out this video there as well as YouTube. And make sure you share with your folks. Pass the word on for the rest of the 30 days, 30 prospects. We are one third of the way in and we got plenty more to go. Guys, I'm Big Mike and I'm calling it. I'll catch you guys later. Peace. Have they ever seen another like me living giant type step in your house and bump my head on when you're silly Climbed out of the bottomless pit to let the truth slip and slide off my tongue and swine Dive off my lips, no longer hold on, I'm tired of applying the grip Forget the fancy shiny rappers I'm supplying